When you think of Matt Harvey, you may think of the Dark Knight, his rise to superstardom, or his sudden collapse in Game 5 of the 2015 World Series. But his story goes way deeper than just that. So let's talk about it. Matt Harvey was born and raised in Connecticut, where he grew up as a Yankee fan. He was a high school standout with elite strikeout ability, but had issues with control. He claimed each game he would strike out 16 batters, but walk 5 or 6. And although Baseball America ranked him the best high school prospect in 2007, he actually fell to the LA Angels in the third round and opted to sign with the UNC Tar Heels instead of going pro. At North Carolina, Harvey finished 9th all-time in strikeouts and 10th in wins in North Carolina history. In the first round of the 2010 MLB Draft, the Mets selected Harvey with the 7th overall pick. After being an all-star in single A ball, he was quickly promoted to double A. And in 2012, he was invited to the Mets spring training, but unfortunately did not make the team. Harvey was unfazed as he made the minor league all-star team once again, this time in triple A. And after injuries to Mets pitchers Mike Pelfrey, Dylan G, and Ace Johan Santana, it was Harvey's time to shine. And on July 26, 2012, he made his MLB debut in Arizona against the Diamondbacks. Harvey lived up to the hype, where he pitched five and one-third innings, allowing no runs, three hits, three walks, and 11 strikeouts, which is still a Mets franchise pitching debut record. He also had two hits at the plate of his own, becoming the first player in modern baseball history, which is since 1900, that he struck out 10 or more on the mound and to record two hits in his MLB debut. The Mets limited Harvey to 60 innings pitched that year, and he finished with a 3-5 and record, 2.73 ERA, 70 strikeouts, and 26 walks. The hype was real for Harvey entering 2013, and he began the season on fire. He had 19 strikeouts in his first 14 innings, won Pitcher of the Month in April with a 1.56 ERA with 46 strikeouts and 40 and one-third innings. On May 7th, while pitching with a nosebleed, Harvey retired the first 20 White Sox batters until losing a perfect game to Alex Rios in the 7th. But it was his only blemish as he went 9 innings, allowing no runs, no walks, 12 strikeouts, and a Mets 1-0 victory. This was the beginning of the dark night, as less than two weeks later, he was featured on the cover of Sports Illustrated, donning the new nickname. Just a month later, on June 18th, he carried another no-hitter into the seventh inning, but lost it to Jason Hayward. He finished the game with a career-high 13 strikeouts, and by the All-Star break, Harvey was cruising with a 7-2 record, 2.35 ERA, and 147 strikeouts in 130 innings. He was elected to his first All-Star game and named the starter in front of the hometown crowd at City Field. In the All-Star game, he pitched two scoreless innings, striking out three. For the second half of the year, the Mets' plan was to keep Harvey's total innings under 220. And in three of his next four starts following the break, he pitched seven or more innings, allowing zero runs, including a complete game shutout against the Colorado Rockies on August 7th, lowering his ERA to 2.09. But in his very next start, Harvey gave up four runs in six innings, and the start after that gave up 13 hits, only two runs, on August 24th against the Tigers. Two days later, he was diagnosed with a partial UCL tear in his right elbow, finishing his season prematurely. He attempted rehab, but eventually opted for Tommy John surgery in October. He ended the year with a 9-5 record, 2.27 ERA, 0.931 whip, 191 strikeouts, and 178 in one-third innings, finishing fourth in Cy Young as Clayton Kershaw won it with an absurd 1.83 ERA. Being that the surgery took place in October, it caused Harvey to miss the entire 2014 MLB season. On April 9th, 2015, Harvey made his long-awaited return to the mound, pitching six innings, allowing no runs, and striking out nine. A month later, Harvey pitched eight shutout innings against the Cardinals, and the hype train was back in full swing. So much so, that one of the game's greatest pitchers ever, Pedro Martinez, stated Harvey could have a better career than him, and was quoted saying, I think he has more talent than I do. I, I, I think that he has more talent than I do, and he has better chances to do better than I did. Hey, those were his words, not mine. But during the season, there was some controversy on how many innings Harvey would pitch. His agent Scott Boris and Dr. James Andrews lobbied for 180 innings with no postseason work, but the Mets' plan was 190 innings and a reasonable amount in the postseason. Harvey eventually halted all fans' concerns and told the Players' Tribune he would pitch in the postseason. 
The 2015 Mets made an incredible run all the way to the World Series where they lost to the eventual champion Kansas City Royals. In the postseason, Harvey made four starts, pitching 26 and two-third innings with a 3.04 ERA and a 2-0 record. But his most talked about performance came in Game 5 of the World Series facing a 3-1 series hole. Harvey pitched eight shutout innings, allowing four hits while striking out nine, and the controversy came in between the eighth and ninth innings, where Harvey was adamant about finishing the game, although manager Terry Collins was ready to put in dynamite closer Jerry's Familia. Eventually, Collins gave in and Harvey returned to the mound for the ninth, despite already having thrown over 100 pitches. Clinging to a 2-0 lead and the season on the line, Harvey walked Lorenzo Cain to start the inning, who then stole second base and came around to score on an RBI double by the next batter, Eric Hosmer. And that was it for Harvey, as he was pulled for Familia, and Hosmer eventually came around to score, tying the game, sending it to extras. The Mets ended up losing 7-2 in 12 innings, and their magical season was over. Harvey himself finished with a 13-8 record that year, 2.71 ERA, in 189 innings. Heading into 2016, Harvey's age 27 season, optimism was still extremely high as Harvey was just entering his prime. But that quickly dissipated. He lost his first three starts of the season, but even worse, it appeared he had lost some velocity and command. Mets pitching coach Dan Worthen felt Harvey had a mechanical problem with his slider that led to his sporadic start. Harvey would sprinkle in a couple quality starts, but on July 8th, it was announced he would have season-ending surgery for thoracic outlet syndrome. Ending his 2016 campaign with a 4-10 record, 4.86 ERA, and 17 starts, amassing 92 and two-thirds innings. Harvey returned to 2017 healthy and ready to go. He got off to a fast start as well, with a 2-0 record and a 2.84 ERA in his first four starts. This was short-lived though, as he began to struggle on and off the field. On May 7, 2017, he was suspended for three games for failing to show up to City Field the day prior, and he was suspected to be out late partying. Then on June 15, he was placed on the injured list with a stress fracture in his scapula. The injury required surgery, and Harvey was now out for the next six to eight weeks. And at this point, Harvey was four and three with an ugly 5.25 ERA and 13 starts. He did come back in early September, making five more starts that year, but the results were the same. He finished the season with a 5-7 record, 6.70 ERA, 1.69 whip, and ironically, the same exact amount of innings as the year prior, 92 and two-thirds. The struggles continued in 2018. After four starts, Harvey had an 0-2 record and a 6.0 ERA. On April 21st, he was relegated to a bullpen role with the Mets, and not much changed. Harvey was frustrated, and on May 4th, he was designated for assignment after he refused a demotion to the minors. In eight appearances, he finished 0-2 with a 7 ERA, 20 strikeouts, and 27 innings. Four days later, the Mets traded Harvey to the Reds for catcher Devin Mezzarocco and Cash. Just like that, the Dark Knight's run with New York was over. The Reds immediately inserted Harvey into the starting rotation, and he responded pretty well. In his first start against the Dodgers on May 11th, he pitched four scoreless innings. He would go on to make 24 starts for Cincinnati, going 7-7 seven seven with a 4.50 ERA, 1.25 whip, which was his lowest since the 2015 season, and 128 innings pitched. In 2019, Harvey was rewarded for a decent finish to the previous year. He got a one-year, $11 million guaranteed prove-it deal with the LA Angels. But in his first 48 innings, he had a 7.50 ERA that went back to the injured list with an upper back strain. He returned July 13th, but was DFA'd on July 19th and officially released on the 21st with a 3-5 record, 7.09 ERA, 1.54 whip, and 59 and two-third innings pitched. In the 2020 COVID-shortened season, Harvey signed a minor league deal with the Kansas City Royals. He was promoted to the bigs on August 19th and made his Royals debut that same day. Appearing in seven games, he finished with an 0-3 record and an 11.57 ERA in 11 2 third innings pitched. In February of 2021, Harvey signed a minor league deal with the Baltimore Orioles. He made the 40-man roster, and on May 12th, he pitched against the Mets at Citi Field for the first time. Harvey struggled mightily though, throwing four and one third innings, giving up seven runs, eight hits, striking out four in a seven one defeat. 
Harvey was pulled in the fifth inning and received a standing ovation from the Mets crowd, where Harvey admitted after the game to holding back tears. He pitched again against the Mets a month later in Camden Yards, but the struggles continued, giving up seven runs on eight hits in three innings and another loss. Harvey's season ended with a right knee ailment on September 12th, finishing the year with a 6-14 record, a 6.27 ERA, and 28 starts, pitching 127 and two-thirds innings. Harvey did sign a minor league contract with the Orioles this past April and is currently on the restricted list. At 33 years old and well past his prime, it's safe to say his career is over. Oddly enough, the infamous Game 5 of the 2015 World Series was truly the beginning of the end for the Dark Knight. Injuries certainly played a major role in Harvey's downfall, but his lifestyle certainly did not contribute positively either. This past February, during the Tyler Skaggs trial, Harvey admitted to regularly using cocaine while playing for both the Mets and Angels, also admitting to taking Percocet in the dugout and clubhouse while he was in LA. An unfortunate fall for one of the game's most talented and polarizing figures. A dark end for the dark night. Thanks for watching everyone. Take care.